Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Basic Builder back, bringing you a new building video. Today we're going to be building this port merchant's house. And as we see, we're going to go ahead and start with our foundation and just jump straight into this build. It is quite a long build. Uh, many portions are sped up, but I'll just talk myself through as well as inform you of what I'm actually doing as you see it on screen. So you can see here, I am posting up the, uh, the full layout of this build. It is quite um, a big build, but you know, not that big. So we're gonna go ahead, lay out our foundation, fill in all the blocks on the floor, and then we're gonna move on into the next section. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start placing our wall starting here at the front of the shop. So we're going to, again, place four stones high. The whole entire bottom floor will be out of stone. So you will need quite a bit of stone for the foundation as well as for the first floor. As we move around, I am positioning some windows and another door opening you can see there. And we'll continue that until you feel happy about it <laughs> um, windows can be placed wherever you would like uh, I wanted to go kind of minimal a little bit and make this look more like um, a merchant's house that's kind of just in the middle of nowhere um, and again to be also protected by the sea and by the storms you don't want that many windows the way I envisioned it so you can see here I'm placing two small very uh, very small windows at the uh, near the top layer of the stone. We're gonna go again four stones high and then we're gonna move on in to the next section. All right, so now in section three, we're gonna go ahead and start detailing the front of this build and making this build kind of come to life. So first we're gonna start out by placing in the small door to kind of offset and create the main door, kind of give it a little bit of an inset. Next, we're gonna work on these windows here. We are gonna be using the stools as a filler for the inside of the window. So, um, if you don't want to use the stools, uh, be my guest, you can use anything else you would like. Uh, I just chose to use the stools for this particular build. So if you plan on building this, uh, in your own world, you can use whatever style you're most comfortable with. Um, this may be a little bit more advanced for some, uh, but if you are want to wanting to try the stool technique, uh, just have a little patience because it will take some time. And you'll notice here in the video that I do struggle trying to line these stools up to get them exactly how I want them to be. Um, really and truly getting them on the edges first and then kind of spacing them out equally in the center is uh, the, the best way to go about it. But the reason why I laid it all down on the, the first level the way I did was to make sure that they are all lined up. So now you can see we're going to go ahead and take some two meter poles and shift place them in after rotating them twice uh, to kind of draw the windows and give them a little bit more um, depth. <laughs> That's the term I'm looking for is the depth. And then uh, at the very end, we're gonna go ahead and finish off with a little bit of framing around them. And you're gonna repeat this over on the next side as well. 
So now what we're going to do is go ahead and work on the door. We're going to put two arches in there just to kind of give it a little bit more look instead of it being more of a box. Now we're going to use the old column trick where you um, that you've seen uh, probably a number of times if you follow uh, Vercel over on his channel. So basically you're going to place a middle piece uh, shift placing all this in. Um, and then start with the small uh, one meter high uh, pole, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there. And then you're going to take the two meter uh, pole and then rotate those twice. And you're going to work that all the way around. With this one, I did not make a full complete circle because of just the spacing that you have. And what I'm also going to do is take another one of his designs where you inset a little bit of the uh, black wood, the tar wood uh, into it. Uh, you can see I struggled a little bit there, um, but if you just go ahead and place down the two meter tall and then place a one meter regular wood up on top of it, then you can go back in and snap that and we're going to go ahead and you can see we're going to repeat this on the same side so on this side you're going to see we're going to move a little bit faster with it um, since we trialed and made some errors on the other one we should be able to speed up pretty quickly as you can see here we already got the front of it done um, after this what we're going to work on is capping off the top um, looks like I had forgot uh, that I had already placed that piece in there so um, at this point we have already placed quite a few pieces but in the very end the only instance count that I see with this one is around 3,000 instances so it's really really small as far as that build so now we're going to go ahead work on capping the bottom off just aligning them to the stone and then we're going to work on capping off the top so capping off the top, I definitely struggled a little bit just due to the snapping points from the windows. It was creating it on the same level and I didn't want that. So what I ended up doing is shift placing on the front of the column, lowering it down just ever so slightly, probably maybe by a wood beam in height. And then, um, that way it just kind of gives different levels on the front. So with my reference image that I pulled off of Pinterest for this particular build, it had this nice curved uh, balcony off the front as well. So that's exactly what I wanted to, to mirror here. So essentially we just took the one meter beams, came off the edges of the stone, and then rotated them one time until we get this nice half circle look to it and then all we're going to do is just fill it back in with some wood flooring So now that we've got some front detailing done, I wanted to move on and put this pathway in that's gonna lead into the lodge side of the build. So right now, what you can see is we're kind of building a foundation for the base to lead up. And I was kind of going back and forth. Do I want this to be all the way on the ground level or do I wanna raise it in the end? We're gonna go ahead and raise it. But first, what we needed to do was build up the kind of the front porch area of the shop. I don't know what you actually call it, but um, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and use our stone flooring and then outline it with the two meter by one meter high um, walls there. Now we're going to go ahead, add some stairs in. Then I realized that putting this flooring in, uh, it just didn't seem right to kind of cover that with the, the stone texture using the 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 hoe so we're going to go ahead and level all of it out and fill it all in as you can see now with the stone flooring 
If you can't get the pieces to snap in right there, go ahead, remove the stairs, come back and replace them when you are completed. Pretty small area, but what this will do is this pathway is going to lead out to the harbor area at the very end. Now, just to cover up this ugly wall with all that, or ugly, um, not wall, we're going to build the wall, but the landscaping there, or the, uh, the land basically uh, covering all that up. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of detailing right there on the side and then move on into the next section. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start working on the second floor as well as putting on the roof and the walls. Right now, we're going to go ahead, fill in the top with our floor, move on down to the bottom floor to go ahead and use the ladder Put some outlining around them to make our stairs going up to the second floor now that we've done that we're going to go ahead and start working on the front face of this build uh, this will be over the uh, merchant shop uh, kind of in front of the or right behind the the, the little overhanging patio there so uh, i noticed that there was a little bit of a gap at the flooring and where the stone comes together so i wanted to go ahead and fill that in and now i'm just kind of working myself around the building kind of evenly spacing out and kind of picturing where i would want the windows to be and then what we're going to do is just go ahead and cap everything off with the um, horizontal wood beams there what i was looking for is kind of going every two meters let's see two meters four meters excuse me uh and and placing a, a, a vertical post like you can see there and then filling it in with the rest so now what we're going to do is take our uh, one meter tall by two meter wide uh, wooden walls and we're going to turn them outwards to get that little bottom border all the way around the build and then I decided to go ahead and use a little bit of core wood since we are in the Black Forest to kind of fill in the walls there. Give it a little bit of a cabiny look, but kind of break up the, the continuous flat wood. Now you can see that we're working on our windows, uh, just kind of framing them out. And then in the center, we're going to take the two meter wood beam and uh, turn it two degree or two times to kind of give it that a uh, little bit of whatever you want to call it in the middle i can't really think about it but you can see that's exactly what we're doing there um now we're going to go ahead and continue finishing up and adding in a few more windows here and there uh for this lodge and for the merchants keep uh bedroom basically how you can see now we're um fast forwarding a little bit we're putting in the chimney uh and working on the roof itself uh, this does vent very very well and it also will not uh, get rain inside so just keep that in mind when you see the final design of the chimney um, now you can see we're going to go ahead and start doing this roof bit and it's not that complicated of a roof again it's the typical you know go one meter out uh, away from the walls and then turning them 90 degrees uh, and then just framing it all in and we're going to do this all the way through on the front side as well and then uh, you'll see we kind of put a little hip at the very very back uh, we're going to go ahead and finish finally in the walls now and then we will continue on with the roof All right, so now that all the walls are 100% complete, we're going to go ahead and finish off this roof. So a simple gable end, as you can see there, I found this little trick on another build that I was doing to kind of eliminate having to use the cross X um, in your roofs. So this is exactly what I did. I started out on the inside and then put the one meter tall on the uh, top of that peak. That way I can get everything aligned. Uh, which was very, very convenient when placing this roof down. Um, so now you can see I'm just putting these little bit of overhangs, had a little bit of detail the roof, and then we're going to go ahead and use our black tar roof um, 
shingles here and fill it all in, just kind of going uh, along the edge of the roof. You'll see as we're working on this bigger side here that they're at two different heights, uh, and I'll show you how we kind of finish that off um, as we're going through. Here, we're going to go ahead and put in a hipped uh, corner piece. Uh, that's what you would normally call it as a, a hip or corner. Uh, instead of doing a gable end where it just comes to a point and it's flat on the face. Little little tidbit there for you. <laughs> so, um, as you can see now, we're going to kind of get into an area of like, uh, this doesn't align up, what are we going to do? And essentially, we're just going to fill it all in and then at the very end, use our uh, ridge pieces and cap them off with the 45 degree beams. Next, you're going to go ahead and take some core wood and line the very top of the roof, and that will be the end of that part. All right, so we are now moving on to the last part. This is the harbor uh, and the, the final stage of this build. Um, use your imagination here, guys. Um, I just went for a more simple look to it to keep it more of a square look and just to give a, a, a large foundation of basically what you could do with this um there i ran into a little bit of issues with the the ground and having the reeds poke through so i kind of moved those out and then i went back in and filled the center up with the um the the stone walls and then placed the stone flooring on top just putting the stone walls in for some support All right, so I got that upper section done. I threw some stairs in and I wanted to create this lower section. This kind of gives it that big harbor look. You can bring big boats uh, in, you can bring the carves in, uh, you can bring just about whatever you wanted to in. Uh, and there's plenty of room. So here I'm taking the diverger walls and putting in it as a fence. Uh, I love these walls. They're probably one of my most favorite pieces from the Miss Lance update. Uh, as well as you know the lights and all of that. So uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do here, finish off putting these walls in, and then we're gonna throw a little bit of lighting in, and then off screen, I'm gonna do a little bit of decorating. And then we're gonna come back in uh, at the very end, and we'll do a walkthrough, and I'll explain my thoughts to all of that. So we'll talk to you then. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is get started with this walkthrough. I did hope you enjoyed the time lapse and the thought process behind this build. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show off what we've kind of done down here. We're gonna start out down here on the docks and basically I wanted to kind of explain what I have put on here and why. Uh, we'll start out with the cartography table. I thought it was a good idea to put the cartography cartography table here as when you get off your ship you can go ahead and upload your discoveries as well so any incoming uh, player can also go ahead and record it and may not necessarily need to go inside moving on we got a lot of clutter uh, I do enjoy putting clutter around I thought this table would be kind of like uh, you know the scene in the Pirates of the Caribbean where he uh, Jack Sparrow takes the money off the little stand. Thought that's what this would be, so uh, that was the whole reasoning behind that. Up here, you can see we have a few uh, workbench upgrades. Essentially, all I did was place the workbench down, put the upgrade in, and then destroyed the workbench. Here we got some fermenters, and again another workbench upgrade for the forge and just lots of storage put a card in i thought the little beehives maybe you can sell some honey uh at the store so that's what that's for lots of lumber stone and all that these lanterns i still just love putting these lanterns in i love those diverger lanterns moving on around let's go ahead and head into the lodge uh here is my little sign design with the iron bucklers and the item stands and the signs so that's exactly what that is 
got a few bits of seating as then uh, as well as over here as well now we have a crate full of blueberries so moving on into the shop which is the main focus of this build we have our fishing rods uh, some storage uh, noodling uh, if you aren't from the south uh, which many of you probably aren't or not know what noodling is it is essentially sticking your hole inside of an arm and letting a huge catfish uh, bite it and you pull it out of the hole and when I say these catfish are like 25 or 30 pounds they're huge so noodling lights um, over here we got some live bait you see that all the time in a bait and tackle shop so I decided to put that in as well as some fish uh, full fish <laughs> that you would catch and then cook fish over here got some harpoons and again some more storage from uh, the carts where you break the uh, the carts up essentially and you get the uh, the crates from that so let's move on around let's go over to the lodge side and I can explain and show you in detail what we did there before I wanted to show this little fence area that uh, I decided to put in as well thought that was a nice little touch and I did that on the other side of the building also so um, over here we got a, another war just for decoration and excuse that noise that would be my dog rattling her tail which was jingling her necklace anyways moving on in uh, we have our fireplace with an upgraded to level 3 cauldron Obviously, you can upgrade this however you want, but we have the spice rack and the butcher's block there. Over here, uh, looking at it now, it probably makes more sense to kind of wall off this side and put the stairs in the other orientation, but I didn't think about that during the time of the build. So if you are building this, just reverse it a little bit. Um, got some under the uh, stairs storage as well. As always, got more uh, tables and all that, as well as my favorite trophy. Moving on up into the lodge, we have uh, some seating, the blue jute rugs, some called or uh, some chandeliers and whatnot. A couple beds if you need to just put a spawn point in as you're sailing around. I think these kind of builds would be really nice around the, the map of Valheim, uh, just to have a little area to place your stuff. Last but not least, moving on into the post, uh, the port merchant's house itself. This is what you get uh, if you are the port merchant. You get a nice big room as well as a nice little balcony. So, um, yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this build. I hope you did, too. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you want to see next. Uh, I did do a, a poll recently on the channel. Um, for some medium sized builds it seems like that seems to be the the range at which y'all want to see more of um obviously i'll probably do that more but i will also do some smaller and bigger builds i've always wanted to build a castle like a big big castle i just don't know if my computer will be able to handle it but we may give it a go it will be a long project it won't be a building style video it'll have to be a walkthrough uh, it, and again, it'll just all depend. So I'm planning that. I don't know when that's going to come. So don't hold me to that. But if there's any other builds you want to see done, let me know down in the comments below, guys. And thank y'all again so much for uh, stopping by the channel and taking a look at this uh, new build. So until then, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.